So finally, I set in here and see everything new with iOS 18. So the first one is gonna be the brand new control center. So for the control center, it looks so much better, and also there's a few more pages as well. So if I just go through one by one, look at this. If I hold it down, it looks pretty dope. So look at this. I have more control. So all, all these are the same, but things it looks so much better. And also, you get like a multiple pages. If you just tap on it, it's gonna go to the music one, and if you tap on over here, it's gonna go to the uh, a controls. So it's gonna be like this. So in the top you're gonna see there's gonna be two icons if you just tap on that one is plus and then if you just tap on it add control you can add all this controller right here so if you add one you just gonna tap on it and after that you can add it and after that you can go up and in the right it's gonna power if you just tap on that you can actually power off your iphone finally you can lock any app you want for this if you just hold on the app and then after that you're gonna tap on the record face id and then there's two options so you can just record face id and then it's just gonna uh uh uh, lock the app but then if you tap on hide and record face id that it actually gonna hide the app so for this it's gonna uh, pop up this and after that you're gonna tap on hide app and after that you're gonna see it's gonna be gone after that if you go down you're gonna get a hidden album that you cannot see the you can even see the app icon that is how uh, you this is if you just tap on it it's gonna ask for your face id and after that you can see all this icon but things if you just you tap on that it's gonna look something like this so for the next feature is actually moving your icon anywhere you want so for format i can just move this a uh, one icon right here so the only thing you can do before you can just do that but things now you can place it any place you want and then it's it gonna stay there uh, like that but things if you actually ho hold down your home screen and tap on edit you're gonna get a custom um uh, buzzer. you're gonna get a custom uh, button right here so you can do automatic you can do dark you can do light so uh, for me all the icon is actually a, a like a, a icon from a shortcut so it uh, says i'm gonna change it but if you just tap on the uh, theme right here you can actually change the app icon to any color you want so you can do any color you want from here you can do any color you want you can do how light or you, you can do how dark and after that if you just uh, but things if you tap on this right here you can actually choose from your wallpaper so I'll, I'll do that and then after that it's gonna change to that color and then all the app icon gonna uh, change to that if you just go right here all, all the app, app icon is gonna be it changed to that in iMessage you're gonna get some letter so anytime if you send a, a message to so someone like you say it's their birthday but it's in like next week but you're gonna forget you can actually use this uh, send letter and you can actually choose the time you can choose uh, the date and then it, it is gonna uh, send it an exact that moment i must say if you just tap on that you're gonna get test effect uh, uh, like this right here if you just tap on it it is gonna uh, sh sh show you how that gonna look over here you can actually i thought it's a light you can underline so finally on lock screen you can change the flash layer and also camera for this you're gonna hold it down and then you can tap on customize then you can tap on the lock screen and over here you're gonna get this right here if you just uh, tap on the uh, minus and after that after you just tap on plus and after that you can choose all, all of this right here best part about this you can even do apple sh sh shortcut as well so for this i'll just do a calculator and in the left i'll just do a, like open app so this is gonna open up a, a shortcut and you can choose the app you want to open up and after that if you just click on down and then if you just tap on that and after that it's gonna uh, do that so let's say uh, i want to open up the calculator i just hold it down and it's gonna open up the uh, calculator because it's okay, so talking about the calculator you're gonna see this is the default one but if you just tap on this you're gonna get the scientific you're gonna get math notes you're gonna get convert but if you just tap on the three icon you're gonna get all the history as well okay so for the next feature it's gonna be under a setting and first of all you're gonna see these look a, a, a bit different and icon as well okay so about things if you actually got accessibility you're gonna get two new thing it's gonna be one voice control and also eye tracking with as 18 you're gonna get a bunch of new wallpaper if you just tap on that you're gonna get this one this is the pink one this is gonna be the yellow one there's the blue one there's the purple one and then it is it but things this actually look a period in top as well so you can have the uh la, 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 light mode and also the dark mode so it's like a, a bit different but it's still it look pretty dope okay so in the okay so in the north let's say i'm doing this uh, like a math problem right here i just didn't tap that down and after that if you just put in an equal sign it actually gonna, gonna solve the problem for, for me how cool is that okay so for more iphone content just said this one make sure you like the video and don't forget to click that subscribe button and peace out